we give it more power. We yell at that system. We divide from each other. We say it must be that person's fault. We're going to ascribe not a system problem. Hello everyone, today our guest is famous Bitcoin proponent and supporter Jeff Booth, who in this video talks about the latest banking crisis, the death of the legacy financial system, and how Bitcoin is going to take over the world. If you enjoy this highlight videos, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you. Today, there we sit on, call it $400 trillion of global debt, and if you paid back a a trillion dollars, a dollar per second, it'd take you 32,000 odd years to pay back um, a, a trillion dollars. So the debt is already insolvent, mm -hmm. right? And let's just s stop there. And if anybody wanted, so there's no possible way that the debt can re be repaid back. It's mathematical. It's mathematical. Yeah. You know, especially if technology is making things cheaper. Right. It, that would make the debt more expensive in real terms. Right, so it has, as things like the iPhone camera eradicates the need for Kodak mm -hmm. film, things get cheaper. As technology drives things cheaper, that would technically make the debt more expensive and harder to pay back. Right, right, right. So it gets, it, it explodes in real terms. Yeah. So that entire th system that we live in and we measure entire, not just social economic, we measure our lives in, we, our families, our everything, mm -hmm. because we try to, gain enough money to be able to live for our, fa uh, with our families and we measure other people by it and everything mm -hmm. else, the entire thing is unrepayable. And, and we don't want to face that fact. Right. Hard right. truth. It's the, the hard truth. Mm -hmm. So we allow inside that system, others to manipulate money at an ever increasing rate to be able to pretend we live in a safe system. Right. And so, and, and, and that has to be, that has to get exponentially worse. Yeah. Um, just because we won't face that, that fact and no government can face that fact. And actually no person can face that fact from that system. It cannot be solved from the system. No person, you could change faces on the yeah. system, but the system is unrepairable from the system. Right. And so, and just think, think through some of the implications. Um, implications are. You will vote for somebody who tells you that they can give you more money for nothing. Uh -huh. Right. Right. You will not, if somebody so, told you the truth that said your real wages are going to go, your real wages are going to go up, mm -hmm. but your fiat wages are going to come down next year mm -hmm. because you're going to get a real gain, but your, it means your wages are going to come down because prices are going to fall faster right. than your, uh, your, uh, your wages mm -hmm. uh, uh, fall. Um, you wouldn't vote for that person. You'd think they were crazy. Right. right? Because we're so used to empowering a system mm -hmm. that says, we're gonna, we'll give you more raise. We'll give you more money to you. We'll give more money to you. We'll give more. And that money comes with a massive cost. Yeah. That is actually making the entire world more unstable yeah. as, as you, as, as you drive that. And it's consolidating. It's, it's transferring all of the productivity gains that should be flowing to society into the hands of very few. And so it ends in a very dystopian world. Right. If you lived in a world where, 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 because there, it, it ends in a dystopian world because you can't have individual rights and freedoms under a system that looks like that. Right. Because the system has to take them to be able to perpetrate that at an ever right. increasing rate. Right. So you don't live, so we believe we live in a democracy. We li believe we have rule of law, but money is superordinate. To a, to mm -hmm. a rule of law, mm -hmm. and so if money is broken, laws get changed to to the favor of who accesses the money. Yes, and and so so that is the system we live in, and the greater and greater insecurity in that system. We we give it more power. We yell at that system. We divide from each other. Right. We say it must be that person's fault. Right. We want to ascribe not a system problem. We want to ascribe a person problem right. to that system. And we go in these small little groups <laughs> right. that are all yelling and making the system stronger. We march on Wall Street. We say 2008, everyone marches on Wall Street. All the exact same people at the top of the uh, uh, social economic ladder are still in power today. Right. And we forget. Right. And it goes on and it gets worse and worse. 
we we have proxy wars and we same people creating them and it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and we 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 constantly lean in and even for those that understand bitcoin mm -hmm. and and have moved out of that system they spend too much time out there yelling <laughs> at that system and and empowering that system only makes it stronger right because most people don't know that we're in a system change from a right. uh, from a system that based that is, is already insolvent that only re re exists because of our of our our willingness to allow others to manipulate money uh -huh. they and they get so mad at that with no fix uh -huh. they yell at it and so, so in fact, this ties into ego death and st starting the the venture uh, uh, company. I realized I control my time. Mm -hmm. I control all of it. Mm -hmm. I can I can either spend my time talking about what's bad in the world, mm -hmm. and and or I can spend all of my time um, living in the world and and, ima and and building to the people building the future of the world mm -hmm. that I want to see. Yeah, and my time matters. Yeah. And as does every single other person listening to this podcast, your time matters too. Right. And so, so you just ask yourself, if you're measuring your fiat world, trying to make more money in that world, yeah. and 99% of your time is there, and then you've just taken a little bit of Bitcoin and said, hopefully it goes up, Yeah. what you're actually doing is reinforcing the world that you do not want to see. You're spending your time, actually 99% of your time, Right. Is reinforcing a world that's actually going to have staggering bad implications. Through your attention and your energy and your worry. And, and, and it'll make you mad. Yeah. It'll make you inside that world. It's going to, it's going to drive you to the same thing that is chaotic inside that world. Right. It's going to dr drive you apart from other people. But it, but if I, if those people control the media waves, let's just say they control the information. Mm -hmm. They control it through WEF, they control it, and all of the, the, and, and most of the people even going to the conferences were delusional themselves and mm -hmm. they were helping mm -hmm. through that delusion. And I talked about them as a conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. Most people in the world would tune me up. Or be alienated. Right, right, right. Yeah. So I would give them more power. Right. And so, so, so this is a conscious strategy a for conscious, allocating your attention. A conscious strategy for allocating my attention. Right. Okay. And I, and, 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 and because, because they can't do anything about this protocol. Mm -hmm. If right. there's a, they, there's nothing can, they, they can do about right. this protocol. And the, and, and the, the later that they're on, the better, the, the better. Yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Right. More yes. centralized, more people. Yes. So uh, better to all truthful getting, that's why this is literally unstoppable. It's unstoppable right. because it's us. Right. It is the best in us described into a network that brings the best to all of us. Yes. That's it. Okay. <laughs> and I feel that tremendously at these Bitcoin live events, like this yep. event, like it's just it's the most enjoyable cultural experience I've ever had in my life, being a Bitcoiner. Yep. And maybe it's just for us nerds that we're a little bit, I'm, I'm naturally introverted. I I have good friends pre-Bitcoin. They're still good friends, et cetera. But there's something about this cultural experience that's just effortless to me. And I, I really appreciate that. What is it about Bitcoin Twitter that's so opposite? It's like we- I don't think it is. We, we go, well, it's see, like if you're outside looking in, if you've never been to a Bitcoin event and you look at Bitcoin Twitter, you're like, oh my God, these people like really go at each other and everyone else hard. But then you come to a Bitcoin event, everyone's like, it's a love fest. So, so what's going on? So there? for me, my Bitcoin Twitter doesn't look like that. Mm. And, and people always ask, how do you stay above that noise? It's because when it comes at me, I don't feed it. Mm. Right? right. Just like you said earlier. Right? Because what somebody says about me is their interpretation about me, mm -hmm. right? The only, it, nothing can hurt me. Right. Um, it, it, so it's either, it's really simple. It's either right and, and I need to fix me, mm -hmm. right? Or it's some crazy person that's trying to gain attention from me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. right. That I'm, if I feed, if I'm feeding it, it's my ego saying you hurt me. Right. Right. Okay. It's, it's me saying. No, here's who I am. I'm better than everybody else. And right. I need to reach back and I need to tell you why I'm better. Uh -huh. And I, and by doing so, 
I explode it right because it was all about me right I just let it it just okay it's the, and, and it just all just goes away thank you for watching the interview highlights of Jeff Booth if you enjoy this highlight video please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content thank you